Okay, so I haven't put out a video since I was criticizing The Biggest Loser and all the stupid stuff they were doing on that show. And then I kind of stopped because I realized that, uh, like, Papa Swolio and Every Damn Day Fitness were pretty much just covering all the BS that was happening on that show. And it just got to the point where <clears throat> every episode was just one dumb thing after another. So it was kind of a waste of time. Um, but I've kind of been experimenting with recording footage while I'm out going for bikes. Like biking has become a new hobby of mine, um, that I've been hitting pretty hard. So this will just kind of be me rambling on top of footage that I took the, uh, the first week that I kind of started this and I went pretty hard on it, um, because I want to hit my goal. I kind of like started making videos back in the last fall and I was like, yeah, you know what? I'm X close to my goal. Um, I'm going to hit, you know, another hundred pounds lost in 10 months. Well, then what happened was I, I gained about 40 pounds in six months, um, from last summer to last fall. So I've had to now re-lose that weight. And then now I've hit a new kind of a low weight. So I'm I'm kind of feeling it again and I'm I'm closer than ever where really mm, I'm probably going to be within the window of losing weight, you know, being done with that in about three months if I just stay on it. Um, really, I could lose just about 50 pounds and then I'd be done. But if I get to a point where I want to keep going maximum, I might lose another 100, which I could be on track to lose by Halloween. That's kind of the goal here. Um, I kind of posted this thing on Instagram where it's, you know what, I'm getting to the point where I'm feeling comfortable, well, maybe I will start doing bodybuilding and see if I can get my, like, body fat percentage low enough to compete next year, which is really kind of weird because it's something I never thought I would do, but at the same time, I'm doing a lot of shit that I never thought I would do, and uh, it's kind of weird. And when I say it's weird, it's just like it's unexpected. I mean, it, it's it's hard to, I don't know, my interests are changing. This isn't just about losing weight, it's about just developing as a person. Uh, another thing I'm doing, which I never really kind of thought I would do, is I'm actually been writing a book for a while now. And um, the book, it's kind of hard to explain what it's about. But it's about kind of what I'm going through and what sparked this change and what kind of is still carrying me through it. It's not a weight loss book. It's not a self-help book. I don't really know what the fuck it is. But I've written things before and people have reacted to things that I've written. So I, I never really even considered myself anybody who liked writing or particularly good at it. But one of the things is you kind of pick up things along the way and somebody once told me that writing really kind of helped them and I kind of took that advice and it does because I've been writing and I've been recording things even if it's just for myself and it's actually super helpful to go back and look at your state of mind at a certain point in time and just compare yourself now to where you used to be. Um, so I'm writing a book. Some people have expressed interest in wanting to read it. Um, I may work on it on stream. We'll have to kind of see. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to keep certain things separate like YouTube and Twitch or, or what or just put it all together. Who knows? Because that's really kind of all I'm doing is I'm just I'm putting myself out there. So it's really hard to separate, you know, what I do as far as on Twitch and YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and all that crap. It's it's kind of a make it up as we go along kind of a thing. Um, so that's kind of why the YouTube videos I put out are kind of, they don't really match any particular theme or whatever. Um, shit, even me just now, people have told me they like to hear me ramble. I don't know why. I don't think I say anything particularly interesting. I don't even really like the sound of my voice that much. But uh, I don't know. So there is one topic I kind of wanted to discuss, and this is something that comes up a lot online and in person, and it's something that, you know, 
you kind of have to go through the motions. And one thing that's always bothered me, well, not bothered me, but people always say, I wish I had your motivation. You know, you tell them you've lost 180 pounds. I wish I had your motivation. Motherfucker, motivation doesn't get you a, even a part of the way. Motivation just gets you started, okay? I think it was Swole Normous X who said, you know, you can't rely on motivation and you really fucking can't, okay? Motivation might get you to sign up for a gym membership. It won't get your ass through the door. You know, it might even get you through the door once. You know, you might go to the gym once. You're motivated to go once. Going to the gym is not fueled by motivation. It's fueled by discipline, okay? Adjusting your diet is fueled by discipline. You know, don't look at somebody and say you wish you had their motivation. Look at them and say you wish you had their discipline, okay? Um, if you know me, okay, either online or even better in person, okay, people always thought it was kind of weird that I was going to go walk to the store to go get a bottle of water or to go get broccoli. Um, you have to, you have to be disciplined. That's, that's what it is. Okay. There is no enjoyment. You know, when I'm sitting here on stream eating lettuce while I'm watching Amberlynn Reed or foodie beauty stuff, their fat fucking mouths, you know, I do actually, my palate has kind of changed. I actually do just enjoy plain lettuce, but I'm not enjoying plain lettuce because I necessarily want to it's because I have to keep a certain discipline to end up with the result that I want and the result I want in life right now is very specific and um, if I don't go through the motions that I know that I have to I won't get the end result that I want and that's really what it all boils down to um, there are people that I have met along the way countless people that originally started online okay when I first hey I lost 50 pounds doing this they said wow they want to start losing weight too oh there was this one person I met in particular on twitch who 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 was overweight he was oh, shit 150 pounds 200 pounds overweight and I look back at him now, he's still the same size, still doing the same shit. And I had this conversation with him when I first started, you know, the, he didn't want to go for walks because he was afraid of what people would think about him. And it's like, motherfucker, you're not going to ever hear their opinion if they're just driving by in their car. So why the fuck do you care? Go for walks at night. Okay. Go for walks at night where nobody can see you. You know, why the fuck are you going to let your fear of somebody else's opinion keep you from doing what the fuck you want to do? That's, that's ignorant. It's stupid. It's, and you're going to get to a certain point in your life where you realized that you have let that control you for so long. I tried to do, and I tried to do a lot. I try. I told him, I, man, I'll pay for a gym membership. I will pay for you to get Ubered to the gym once a week to get you started. Couldn't do it couldn't even do it so motivation is a strange thing you cannot even truly motivate somebody else really um it just it never worked i look at him and when i started i was 100 pounds heavier than this kid and now i'm about 100 pounds lighter than him and i just think man if this motherfucker just would have taken it as seriously as he said he was going to he'd be he'd be done he'd be done with something so simple And then there was people I met in the gym. Uh, I've given my phone number out to, oh my God, more people than I can count, who said, oh, they want to go, they want to do a workout with me. They want to have a gym buddy. Do you know how many of these fucking people I've given my phone number out who have ever texted or called me? It's a very small number. It's actually zero. Zero fucking people have ever called me. And don't think that I won't drive an hour to go meet you at a gym or go for a hike or something to get you off your ass. I will do that try me just try me i will um some people i know know the lengths that i will go for another person and honestly if you ask them it's too fucking far and uh that's just kind of one thing i wanted to rant about was motivation can't even fucking really 
You can't find motivation. Motherfucker, motivation finds you. My motivation came from the absolute wrong source. And honestly, when you fucking ask guys a lot of the time what got them in the gym, it's a girl. Okay, my motivation came from the wrong girl. A complete waste of my time that everybody fucking warned me about. And at the time, I was, no, I know best. Me, me, me. I'm smart. I know what I'm doing. It's worth it. She's worth it. Oh, fuck. Please, if I ever ask you for advice, even if I don't take it in the moment, I will later down the road come to the very same conclusion, which is kind of what I'm going through now. Motivation, okay, you're not going to find it. At some point in life, it's going to find you. And when it does, pay the fuck attention. And then two, discipline. When your motivation is gone, rely on discipline because discipline will carry you until your next source of motivation comes along. And then third of all, And third of all, just don't fucking doubt what you're capable of. Because just because you can't do it today doesn't mean you fucking can't do it tomorrow or next week or next month. So just fucking, just not to sound like uh, one of those stupid Instagram quotes, but you will thank yourself for starting fucking right now.